What's up everybody, my name is Philstep and today I'm going to show you how to make this <laughs> So, I have this 8 bar loop here. So, started off by building up drums. I also built up the pattern of the beats, all the atmospheres and stuff, and some hits that uh, we're not gonna talk about because those are, those are not the main points of this video. We're gonna start off by building up the machine gun. And so to do that, we're going to grab a gun sample. I've always been using this machine gun from Mercurize back. This gunshot effects. So we're just gonna grab that. I'm gonna put it in my assigned bass sample because uh, it's still counted as a bass, but it's a percussion at this point. In the sampler, what I would do is customize it by putting it into normalize mode and just simply play around with the in and out fade in. This is where I started to give it some EQ. We're hitting supposedly in D sharp, so. Ready for 200 IQ, big brain, funny joke, okay kid watching this name D sharp, be like. <laughs> Then assign this one to D5. And also, if you want to do that, just right click on any band and just put it in the key, and it'll display where it is positioned in the frequency spectrum. <laughs> Next up, I would like to put in some transient processor. If you don't have transient processor, uh, but you do have uh, some kilohertz, just use the transient shaper from kilohertz. It's almost the same. No, it's, it's the same thing, but uh, it has it's there. <laughs> To make this one sound more of a machine gun, I would like to put in some stereo. You can see that it's uh, clipping very hard, but it's because of the transient processor. Are you little That's fine. So this is how I usually do my processings. Just end it with your RMS mastering and then adjust it by level. And also in this part. There's that. I also layered this one with like a reese. That's like uh, doing the same pattern. In order to be faster, I'll just copy my sub basis pattern and then put it on the reese. So this is how my reese sounds like. The reese layer. If we shorten it out like that, I'll put it in the mixer. Of course, removing the sub. And then we're putting this into the baseline, not the base, because there's another layer that I'm gonna do to create the texture of the machine guns. You have this. I'm gonna make sure this one is purely mono. Now for the texture, I do have either three or four layers. Now let's go for some sound design and I'm gonna use citrus for now. What I'm gonna do for citrus is I'm going to find any kind of sample that's like very complex. Let's go for a pressure glitch. Alright, sure. So the idea here is to FM this complex waveform with a sine wave to create this some sort of texture. And then FMing this waveform with another sine wave. And sometimes I would like to draw in a little bit of a mod in there. These numbers represent octaves. On default, it's at 2, which is like an octave up from the usual note that you when you play in the middle. So as I put in more value to this, it'll increase or decrease the octave. That's the basis of how citrus works in terms of pitch. You got this. That's our texture right there. We're gonna put this in the mixer. This is just experimental. So if you know Serum, there's always distortion there called linear fold. And for those who don't know how it actually works, it basically looks like this. This is how the distortion is stretching the waveform into this shape. And you can see that it's louder. I kinda like the sound. Even though it's distorting and killing our ears. Sorry. And now let's find another key. Let's go for D6. Increase the peak so we can have an extra tonality. Let's put in some OT, some delay, make it more metallic. This is an essential technique for me to make things sound metallic, is to reduce the time. I'm almost done with this. That's our base right there, relatively simple, but it works. And now with it and with everything, it sounds like this. <laughs> and if you want, if you uh, cut that, cut that, cut that part. Nope. I'm just gonna check the time right now and so see if I can do something more crazy. Okay, actually. <laughs> Hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. I'll see you all later.